Anthony Joshua. Oh, knockout. Tyson Round four, Fury. five. Tyson Fury on point. Oh, now number seven, nine, knockout. Francis Ngannou. Knock him out cold. Early or late? Oh, early. This Daniel is my MMA. This is my MMA, man. Daniel Dubois. I knock him out again. No, this time, to this year, I'm coming to knock them out. Stop them or punish them, knock out. Joe Joyce? Oh, sorry about him. He lost twice by knockout, but knock out again because he's soft already. Joseph Parker? Oh, Parker, knock him out. That's my best friend, but this is boxing business. Knock him out. You don't say wow. Wow, that's much. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African box Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. So that we new bank a new exclusive video, you will definitely be notified. So, well, the real season card. Um, a set to take place in Los Angeles has been upgraded by His Excellency Turkey Al Sheikh. Well, on the card, you have Monty Bacoli now going against Jerrell Anderson. <laughs> Bro, Martin Bacoli. I like Marty Bacoli, I'll tell you right now. I like him. Um, he was part of Team AJ before. I don't know what happened right there. I like Matty Bacoli. I also like his trainer, Billy Nelson. Uh, I know a lot of people in the UK don't fancy Billy Nelson. They think he talks too much. He think they think he thinks uh, he they think he hypes Matty Bacoli up a lot and and that. Uh, well, he's he's the manager of Matty Bacoli and also the trainer. And also, he gave Matty Bacoli the opportunity. And also, I have to thank Bill Nelson for what he did about about five years ago. What he he helped me facilitate a very a very like severe situation. You know, I don't want to get into that now. But. This Mariah Bill Nelson helped me facilitate a very severe situation with one of our Nigerian boxers who was stuck in a contract of slavery, a slave contract, where I contacted Bill Nelson. Bill Nelson helped me to contact someone else that made the transition. Got our brother out of that situation that he was in. So I will never ever forget when somebody do something like that. The Nelson is the man. This guy right here is a this man right here. He's a man with a good heart. Bill Nelson from Scotland. So I, he might not remember this, but I will always remember. And um, thank you, Bill Nelson. Now, Marty Bacoli has talked uh, about fighting all the big top dogs in the past. And recently he called out everyone you know he said he's gonna knock everyone out including Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, Joe Joyce, Joseph Parker, anyone at all. You have to give Monty Bacoli credit though because he is willing to fight anybody. He's not a guy that ducks anyone or whatsoever. Of course I know about um, his loss to Michael Hunter you know he suffered an injury in that fight we all know that already and um yeah that's his only loss so 20 20 wins 
one loss to Michael Hunter and zero draw going against Jerry Anderson that has 17 wins, 15 knockouts, zero losses and zero draw. I think he might probably beat Jerry Anderson. Jerry Anderson is a very talented fighter, 24 years old. But I think this is a step too far for him. Martin Bacoli is 282 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. He's been, he's been, uh, he might not look the best shape wise, but if you look at his resume, you know that this guy is a very talented fighter. Okay. He's got, also got a good gas tank as well. Huh? His resume right here, look, since so losing to Michael Hunter, that was in 2018. And a fight that basically was the last round, basically, for the IBF Intercontinental with, uh, that was vacant uh, uh, title. So he then went on to beat Mario Zwak, Yato Pereira, Kevin Johnson, Ronnie Hernandez, Sergey Kuzmin. Aruna Osumanu, Tony Yoka. Tony Yoka was steep to be the best, the best upcoming prospect. Tony Yoka is still very big, but Martin Bacole dealing with Tony Yoka the way he dealt with him was very surprising. I mean, he literally went to, to his backyard in France, Paris, and dealt with him. Martin Bacole has not been the, the best active fighter. He's not been that active, but with his excellency putting him on this card if Martin Bacoli perform you will see him you will see him in many shows one thing i like about Tokyo Lashik is that it he, he works with everyone usually Martin Bacoli wouldn't get a fight with Eddie Hearn or Matrum because of what happened i think they split and he was signed to Joshua uh, 25 MGT before something happened there now he's a rival to under Joshua Something must have happened. I don't know. I don't know Joshua personally to say he did wrong or to attack Marty Bacoli. One thing I know is that Marty Bacoli's uh, manager and trainer, Billy Nelson, is the most... Like that guy is a... Is a the man is a good man. I cannot forget what he did five years ago. Can't forget it. Never forget it. A good man, I tell you right now. I always appreciate that man. Marty Bacole should have been on in on top. Should be on top right now. But um he was being blacked out for something he put I think he posted uh, something that has to do with child pornography on uh, Twitter. I think for him it was for educational purposes. But you know in the UK is a very different they look at things very different. Some things we might see to educate people in the UK, in the Western world, they can take it as you being a pedo, basically. So I think that's the most I said that happened. So I think he's learned from that. And the guy is a family man, you know. He's a good guy. So how does this fight play out? Well, Jerry Anderson is a very talented fighter. Um, tip to be the next big thing, you know, the future of American uh, boxing. And that's a good labor, you know, to be the future of, the Ameri of American boxing is good. But when push comes to shove, can you back up the claim? On the rankings right here, on boss right rankings, you see Osik number one, Joe Schwartz. To Agit Kabaya 3, Fury 4, Dando 5, Zapago 6, Red Anderson 7. Red Anderson's resume compared to Martin Bacoli, who is 10, number 10 right now, is not close. Martin Bacoli has a better resume than Jerry Anderson. I don't know how he got here. Even if you are Jack Bar, has a better resume than Jerry Anderson. That's facts. Michael Hunter is still in the midst, though. I don't know what happened to Michael Hunter, but I don't know. Fran Sanchez is here. I think Francesco should be 
demoted because Ajabwa has overtaken him. And Vasile lost his last fight. The knockout. Stoppage. Ajabwa has never been stopped. Never been stopped. He lost to Sanchez, but he was never stopped. Fight. Been down, but never stopped. Ajabwa's resume is more solid than Francis's resume. That's fight. Forget about the 40 shot already. So now this fight, style wise, is interesting. Martin Bacoli is probably going to come in heavy. Uh, one thing though about Martin Bacoli is that he has a gas tank to carry his weight. You know, he has a gas tank. Joanna is a slick boxer, very talented. He can switch southpaw or orthodox. He can switch. But the thing is that he doesn't have that natural heavyweight power. Mati Bakali does. And Mati Bakali is a very good body, body puncher. If they get on the inside, I see Mati Bakali bullying him on the inside, unleashing body shots, uppercut, left hooks on him. But if it's an outside fight, Jerry Anderson is very good. He can find outside, on, the, on the outside. And, um, yeah, I think it will be a battle of who, 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 who land first, you know, in the sense that Jana C might not be a natural, a natural power puncher, but he's got a punch in him. He's got 15 knockouts. Multiple is 6-6. Six, six. Jarenda says 6 4. You know? And you have to also take that into consideration. But Anderson is younger. And we'll see how good he is. This is a far right here, I cannot really predict. But I'll be back in Matibagoli for the win. I have to buy my African brother, bro. Can't lie to you. And also not because of that, because he's also got more experience than um, Joe Anderson. But I won't be surprised surprised if Anderson beat Matty Bacoli because Matty Bacoli has not been that active. But one thing I like about Matty Bacoli is that he's very disciplined. Don't look at his shape. He doesn't have the athletic physique or stuff like that. But he does know how to carry his weight. He does know how to fight. And he's beating everybody in sparring. <laughs> it's very funny though. When he says that. <laughs> I like how to man. The man. Guy, the guy is a funny man. Anyways, I can't wait for this fight. The card is lit. I know the Virgin OT's uh, Team Zoo would have been would have made this card. Yeah. Carry a little bit heavier. And carry more weight. But I get it. It's just one of those things. You know. Um, Virgil Ortiz, he has to heal, and um, I think the fight will be rescheduled for another day. So, yeah, can't wait, guys. Big ups to Turkey Lashik. These are fights we need. I didn't know I needed this fight, but looking at the, the matchup is very good. Great matchup, and also, um, yeah, what I would have been on this, on this card if I didn't be one on one or you know, perform better against Jang. Probably nice to see what a, uh, what a Jerry Anderson. Well, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Jerry Miller, Louis, uh, and the Reese Jr. That was a big fight, right? There. That was a fight. That's going to be very, very, very tasty and spicy as well. Can't wait, guys. Stay for Mr. Mara, yeah. God bless you all. And, um, Knockouts. Round four Fury. five. Anthony Joshua. Oh knockouts. Tyson Round four Fury. five. Tyson Fury on point. Oh now number seven nine knockout. Francis Ngannou. Knock him out cold. Early or late? Oh early. This Daniel is my MMA. This is my MMA, man. Daniel Dubois. Ah knock him out again. No, this time to this year I'm coming to knock them out. Stop them or punish them. Knockout. Joe Joyce. Oh. Sorry about him, he lost twice by knockout, but knockout again because he's soft already. Joseph Parker. Oh, Parker, knock him out. That's my best friend, but this is boxing business. Knock him out.
Don't say Walda. Walda smash him, small legs, small body, and knock him out. Anthony Joshua.